In this lesson, we will try to understand what is economics. As we have learned in previous lesson, that fundamental issue around us is the economic problem, which is the gap between unlimited desires and limited resources. Shorter the gap, lower is the intensity of economic problem, and the larger the gap, the higher is the intensity. Number of economists addresses this issue, and they try to explain how individuals and countries could come out of poverty, and how could they improve their standard of living. The economist like Adam Smith, who is also known as the founder of economics, David Ricardo, John Stuart Mill. Karl Marx, Alfred Marshall, Lionel Robbins, John Maynard Keynes, Milton Friedman, Paul A. Samuelson, and Muhammad Yunus. If we go to Google and search for the list of Economists, and then click here. We will reach to this page on Wikipedia, and here you can find in alphabetical order a list of almost all prominent economists who have contributed to economic literature. Out of these explanations, the most widely accepted view of modern economics was given by Lionel Robbins. Here if we search for Lionel Robbins, on this page if we go down, here we can find his definition. He said, economics is the science which studies human behavior as a relationship between ends and scarce means, which have alternative uses. Robin's definition identifies the existence of economic problem in human society, and which is the gap between unlimited desires and limited resources. Thus, according to Robin's point of view, economics is a science which helps us in solving economic problems. Here question arises that how can we solve economic problem? Economic problem can be solved with the best use of resources. Best use of resources means the efficient and effective use of economic resources to produce goods and services. Efficient means that resources are employed without any waste of time, material and money. While effective means that resources are capable to complete the task or they are sufficient to achieve the objective of their use in production process. Best use of resources is always efficient and effective. When we are taking any economic decision, we always try to reach the solution which is best. If we are saving some extra amount today, we take it as our best move because in future we can take advantage out of it. Likewise, if young students are sacrificing their comforts and spend time in classrooms, they are taking best decision because the time they spend in classroom is always better option as it will add value in them. And if they spend this time in their beds, obviously that give them short term comfort 
but they will not gain something which is as permanent as education. This decision is efficient as it will help them to avoid waste of time and it will be effective if they attend full school time so that they can complete the learning process. Likewise, if you are using car to reach your school and if you are facing traffic jam every day and you have to spend a lot of time on the road, then the best way could be to use your bicycle. This decision is efficient because it will save your time and this decision will be effective if using bicycle will help you to reach the school. There is another interesting example on the web. Here if you read this paragraph that when NASA first started sending up astronauts, they quickly discovered that ballpoint pen would not work in zero gravity. To combat the problem, NASA scientists spent a decade and 12 billion dollars to develop a pen that writes in zero gravity, upside down underwater on almost any surface and their temperature ranging from below freezing to 300 degrees Celsius. The Russians used a pencil. Now this explanation is given on the page the Russian used a pencil dot com and similar example you can find here on the Wikipedia the space pen. Likewise, we can find number of examples around us, whether we are efficient in our decision making. This particular decision that we are going to take is effective. So efficiency and effectiveness, it goes side by side and it helps you to take the best decisions. So best use of these resources is always efficient and effective. Efficiency means without waste, without waste of time, material and money. And effective means that resources are capable to complete the task or they are sufficient to achieve the objective of their use in the production process. So what is economics? Economics is the science of solving economic problem. And economic problem is due to the difference between unlimited desires and limited resources. Unlimited desires which are the desires of goods and services and these goods and services are not readily available. We have to make them and we need resources to produce these goods and services and these resources are limited. So how can we take best advantage from resources and economics helps us to reach to that best solution which is the efficient and effective use of economic resources. So that's all in this lesson. Thank you very much.